Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Cold Waters, episode number 12 in the USS Seawolf in our fight against the People's Republic of China. Um, let's recount what our orders are. Uh, Taipei. Okay, so we need to go to Taipei. We do have enough ordnance to take care of that, so should be good. Let's go to Taipei, and first, let's just get the hell out of the East China Sea. Oh, I'll, I'll let you scan me. Do you see that? I'm taunting them. Come and get me. But also, I need to make sure that <laughs> we are, you know, and prepared for the attack Oop, near Taipei. I don't know what we ran into, but let's get her done. On sonar. Rig ship for ultra quiet. On sonar. Lost contact, Sierra 1. Contact faded 306. Okay, just to our port side. Come over here. Uh, Con sonar, new she contact. Is Come left to 352. Helm I. Oh, it's cavitating, huh? Do you think this might be a submarine? <laughs> Um, wow, it was nearly a Zia. Con, sonar, new contact bearing. Three, we have a Han. One, three, and what do we have next? Sierra, two. Let's just assume that this is a transport, so... Con, sonar, new contact bearing. Two, five, three. Designated Sierra, three. What did I say? Let's assume it's a merchant, right? That's what I meant to say. Come right to three, five, Sierra eight, three. Helm, I. Also assuming it's a merchant. Con sonar, Sierra 3 is classified as merchant. Okay, let's watch this Han, get a solution, fire, and go home. Well, go to Taipei. She could hear us if she went active. Con, helm, steady course. Let's stay on this course for a bit, let our toad array straighten out behind us, give us some readings. Just, it's beautiful to look at your submarine from a third-person perspective. I'll, although, you know, I do think that some of the... Mm, being able to see everything, the God's Eye view that Cold Waters uh, equips you with, torpedoes, all those things, it'd be nice if there was an option to, like, maybe on Elite difficulty, you can't see torpedoes unless they're like a 90% solution or something like that. Until then, you just know, you just have vague information. I'm not exactly sure how that would be handled anyway. I mean, I'm just not exactly sure what's the best way of doing this. I mean, you, without going full realistic, because I'm still thinking about the 3D models. This Han is supposedly very close, and actually that makes sense based on the passive and all that. So... I think what we'll do is go ahead and set our depth to 450 so that we have room to dive. A nuclear submarine. Now, this is very noisy, so I'm not too worried about. I mean, we should be able to freaking should be able to detect the hell out of it. 152? I mean, come on. Come on! Could probably just safely fire, and... If I wanted to play this nice and slow... Like, essentially, <laughs> I'm like... I do this a lot in games, actually. Where... Mm, as soon as I know I'm gonna win... The game... Kinda... I lose interest in it. A lot, of, a lot of the times this happens with strategy games, where I do such a pedantic, detailed... Doing all the little micromanagement to set up um, an extremely start, uh, extremely strong start or beginning or early phase. And I usually emphasize late, late game. Like, uh, you can think of this as prioritizing research in a lot of strategy games, where 
you know, research makes you better later, but you sacrifice units now to do that. So I just try to survive until uh, the research kicks in, and then I built up my economy, blah, 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 blah. If all of that is true, then by the time we actually get to the point where, yeah, um, Con, dive at four, five, zero, eight, dive by the time we get to the mid game or towards the end game, when I know I'm going to just catapult into the lead, I just don't, at that point I don't care anymore. So 81 decibels, pretty quiet. Still have only a 40% solution on the Han. Guess we could turn Helm back two, around the other one, way. Six, one. Get Helm a better nine. solution. I'm turning around away from her so that my Toad Ray never leaves. Oh. Well, you know, we are getting better information. Come left to zero, one, three. Helm I. I do want to try to go behind her. So our active rating is going to just skyrocket here as we show more of our profile. It's pretty quiet out there. I don't think that this is the commando carrying submarine. We could sneak into our baffles. So I'm just like hypothesizing how we could do this without Con, helm, steady course. being lazy to actually do it myself. I think we'll just do it to demonstrate that it can be done. In the future, I would have launched and just avoided their torpedo. Come left we could also be three, nice and three, sneaky. Seven, helm, I. This is what I imagine any real US, US Con, submarine worth helm, its salt, steady course. which I think is all of them, Come left two, how they would handle two, this. Eight, four, helm, I. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, two, last bearing, two. Con, helm, steady course. You can see that the Toad Array is, does not have a very large uh, baffles or blind spot forward. It's probably a lot less than the baffles that people typically had. Uh, so Han's going to make it easy on me. Probably a lot uh, less than the baffles uh, um, on, for the passive sensors actually on the submarine due to their own um, propellers. And we're in our blind spot, so let's go ahead and dogleg this thing in. I'm going to target it first, just in case we lose the wire. Just in case, but... Shoot two, one. Aye, sir. As soon as I have it on the wire, we'll send it way out here. And now I'm going to turn this way. I'm actually going to do this manually. I'm going to do just 10% 10, 10 degree turn. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, 2. Last bearing, 2. 9, 2. Contact faded. Actually, you know what? No, I'll, I'll come back the other way. I, I want to head this way so that I'm actually closer to the torpedoes. I don't think that they will arm in time if I'm lucky. This is a bit of a risky maneuver. Definitely would have more time to get out of the way if I chose to move away from it. The Han. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra two bearing two nine two. So we'll see how the Han. I mean, she's gonna go active and detect us, right? Presumably. <clears throat> we don't even need to be super quiet right now. We could speed up. I think we will, just to uh, better position ourselves. Make turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering, making turns for one. And she's come down not. a little bit, so she's almost, you know, in our. I don't want to lose the wire though. Oop. So I'm going to try to keep it within negative 10, negative 15. going nice and slow, but we are still in her baffles, and she does not have a toad array. I 
And maybe you can turn as wildly as you want at five knots. That would make sense, by the way. <laughs> I don't think this is really a turning that you can do sharp enough at five knots. That would really mess things up. Probably okay for it to come in here. We'll just keep turning. Eh, you know what? Level out on this. Get this thing a little bit further out. And... Let's see how this goes. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Although I should probably speed up since she will launch torpedoes, but I think we're going to be okay. Now we just want to control when she goes active. I think we'll wait as long as possible. Contact on Sierra two bearing two nine two. As soon as she launches torpedoes, I'm going to set my heading right for her and gun it. Flink cavitate. But we are getting very close to her. <laughs> this thing's barely going to have time to activate. All right. Well, shall we let the Chinese know? That there's a surprise for them. It's almost Christmas. Merry Christmas. Coming early. I'm gonna guide it myself, heading five on the numpad. You can see I brought a torpedo up to Con, fire control, there weapon it is. acquired. Now we're just waiting for the active pinging. The Han is going ten knots, slowing down, so she's about to get the unpleasant surprise. And try to keep this torpedo as far to you know away from my direction. So if she does a reciprocal Con, launch, sonar, there it launch is. From Sierra One. Let's see where it is. is. She going active? Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Oh, she has now. Is she gonna do a second launch? Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. I mean, I guess we can guide it in ourselves. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing two, one, oh, one. Got a couple noisemakers out. I aim right for Con, her. Fire control, weapon acquired. Right for that tower. We lost her. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing two. One. And their one, torpedo is going out on the reciprocal out. bearing. Up oh, hit her a little bit. In the wrong spot, but <laughs> that might be the place. The very nose might be the best place to for a submarine to try to survive. I don't. Based on what I've heard about the Mark 48, I don't think that's going to happen. But if it was another, perhaps another torpedo aerial one, for example. And the reason why I bring this up is just because there was that USS San Francisco which crashed full steam ahead into a, an underwater cliff or something like that. I don't know what they describe it as. But it, it crashed into it. Con, sonar, lost contact. And two, all the sensor suite in there was just crushed. Nine, but I think two, that they said that had rated. it, I mean, the same impact had it any other place would have been uh, game over. Okay. Combat. They just don't care that I'm out there doing my job, risking my neck, killing all these guys. Please resume your actual mission. Well, we'll just hover around Taipei. I think I'm supposed to know about this. Ah? Uh? So I want to try to get over here. Yes, yes, yes. Good. I don't know if this is the right one or not. Uh, 280. I didn't even load another torpedo crazy what am helm I thinking? Right two, three, three, five. Helm I. so we got pretty quiet water oh we got a strong duct I like seeing this let's go ahead and defile everyone's this could be a merchant it is very clear though I guess it could just be a very clear merchant. 
I think it's a very clear merchant. Con sonar, Sierra 2 is classified. Oh, that's Sierra 2, darn it. You don't give me Sierra 2 first. Let's figure out what we're dealing with in Alpha. Con okay, sonar, well, I don't. Sierra is the Alpha the one that would drop it? I don't know. Submerged submarine. What's our depth? Con helm, steady course. Good. Oh, 1752. We actually got something which is not full 1900. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, she can detect us. Let's go down very quickly below the layer. She must be really close. We're gonna give tube two some some. Oh my gosh, she is very close. We're gonna give tube two some something to do. I'll probably level out now. Waiting for this. Bring the nose up at least. Okay, there we go. Gotcha. Passing 300 feet. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. So I want to send this above the layer, I guess. I'm just going to tell it to stay where it is. I'm sure it's going to detect it. We can manually do it if it doesn't. We're expecting a reciprocal launch. It's coming right to left. And looks like it's closing. It's pretty close, though. Kind of the good news with this, I mean, I don't think we're going to have uh, enough time to really dodge or dive or whatever, but man, it must be really close, though. It's shifting so rapidly. So we're not going to have a whole lot of time to dive and all that. Yeah, this thing is definitely close. Thankfully, we're now out of her way. We could do the same thing, but look, like I said, uh, it's just not. It takes a little bit too much time. That's too much work. Go into her blind spot and yada yada yada. And she's trying to let us. <laughs> so part of me is like, maybe we can do that. The thing is, I'd almost rather the torpedo go nose on with her so that we don't have to worry about her evasion, which is pretty good. All right, all right, I think I'll do it. Come left two, two, seven, go three, into her baffles. Come left two, two, eight, three, helm I. Okay, rig for silent running. Rig ship for ultra quiet. And somebody asked a really good question: Why is it rig ship for ultra quiet when submarines are boats? That's an excellent question. My guess is it's just Con, traditional no, parlance. Course. People just have this traditional saying, and ah, she's shifting towards us. But I think that's not going to matter soon. Come left to two, four, four. Helm I. Our active profile is just crazy. I mean, if she heard us, she would go Con, active and no, immediately see us. Course. However. <laughs> Looks like we got a repeat. Another one suckered in. So you can play this game nice, uh, slow and methodical, and you can be rewarded for that, Helm which is two, great. One, nine, seven. Helm, I. And right about now. Con, helm, steady course. Should be able to launch, should be able to launch. Not quite, not quite, not quite. She's got no baffles there, Con, does. sonar, Sierra, one, is oh, cavitating. Well, doesn't matter. One, I sir. She's doing a crazy Ivan. I don't think we can outdistance. Well, she's capped. I mean, I don't know if she can hear this torpedo. Not active yet. But she is slowing down or not? No. So go ahead and turn me to the right a bit. Get me down to. 450. Make depth four five zero feet die by. Actually, let make depth three five zero feet die by. What's our depth? Yeah, just go down by little bits. Make depth four zero zero feet die by. I'm gonna try to keep turning right without losing the wire here. I'm 
We are we are under the layer, so we'll have this thing pop up above the layer to find her after it's after it's closed a bit. She's doing the same kind of thing that that I I, I like to do. She's doing a sprint and drift. And hopefully it won't matter until too late. I, I might even go active just to... Hmm. We will be undetectable even by active now. But that's because she's going... She's cavitating for crying out loud. I don't know if um, ships will ever actually cavitate, or I should say submarines will intentionally cavitate even in a sprint and drift. I think it's just a failure of the AI in this game. Yes, and that will be detected on active. I'm gonna smooth out. I'm gonna put my ballast down a bit as well. And we're just about ready to send her a nice warm US welcome. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra One. There it is. Come left to two zero zero helm I. Not the one I want. Do we have the alpha still? Okay, let's turn her in. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. This is a fast submarine, so do not try to... Okay, we'll nose on with her. We'll, we'll test out my theory about surviving a single hit to the nose. Wow, that was... That, that is definitely not going to be survivable. Do we have to worry about this torpedo? We don't. Come right to Just another day. I wonder what depth this thing's at. It's currently at the surface, but I think it's going to drop down. Anyway, we've got to wait for it anyway. Con, helm, steady course. Passing yeah. Feet. Just got to wait for it. Hopefully this was our mission target, but I don't think so. And the floor is getting deeper. How many alphas do they have, by the way? Goodness. I thought the alpha was a pretty rare submarine. <laughs> don't think that many of them were made, but... I could be wrong, and we have seen just a, our fair share, haven't we? Okay, got it. This is not your mission target. I'm doing everything I can here. Just waiting for my mission target to show up. Okay, here's another one. <laughs> Depth is going to be pretty shallow in this one, I'm afraid. Let's actually take the time to reload this. I think I'm going to launch a Moss if it's in super shallow waters, especially if there's any aircraft around. What do we got? Okay, it's 350. That's pretty, yeah, pretty shallow. Con sonar, new contact bearing, zero, eight, six. Make depth one, zero, zero feet, die by. Six, that's not the one we want. What was the initial, 175, so it's a little bit, let's come this come way a little bit. Two, two, three, we have two, to, LMI. that's weird that it would be 175 because on the map it came from clearly from the north, northwest, but yeah, I mean, they probably don't want you, I, I don't know. So that, I guess that's one of the parts about this game that it would be great if they had uh, Silent Hunter 3 continuous mode, where you could you didn't have to travel on the strategic map. By the way, from a gameplay mechanic, I think it's amazing. It's a very good way of doing it. Because it's very easy to quickly get into a fight. You know, yeah, we definitely have this with our Toad. I'm sure with this is a merchant, though, so... Don't really need to identify it, but I will. Con Sonar, Sierra 1. Is classified as merchant. Anyway, I, I think it's Con really good. The game, the way they designed it, is so it's really entertaining. It would still be nice if for like the hardcore people out there, like uh, people who really enjoyed Silent Hunter 3, if there was like a continuous mode where you, you know, you just plotted your, you kind of had the same strategic map thing going on, but 
you didn't see you got like reports of people and until you actually heard them with your own sonar so like the fact that the contact fades the moment I enter the map it's a little weird Maybe they could show a little red, like flash your submarine red, like blink it, like a siren, when you're in the vicinity of someone, and it gives you opportunity to, like, okay, with their estimated positions over here, or, I don't know. Or if there's a, if it's a surface contact, most of the time I'm sure you'd be going after surface contacts. Or, well, that's not true. I don't know. Anyway, it looks like this might be one of those where we have to cavitate just to get over there. I could launch my moss now and then cover my own <laughs> reckless attempt to catch up. Because there's no sprint and drift when your depth is 365. I don't even know if we can get up to 20. Probably get up to 15. We're not hearing anything yet. We know that their direction was basically due south. So I'm going to go ahead and just converge on that direction, on that heading. Come left and one, I'm going seven, to seven, I make drop us down to 300 three, feet, zero, zero, which should be enough for us to do make a slightly third, faster four, speed. And one, we're going to go there for zero, a little nine, bit. A little bit. By the way, I'm looking for a clock. Nine, I don't have, we don't one, actually have a clock. Zero. Alright, I think we can go 15 now. Make turns for one, five knots, maneuvering eye. And Not maneuvering, making let's see, turns it's for 430 one, and then five, 350. Knots. I believe that at 350, so we won't be able to do the next tick up, unfortunately. I can probably go knot by knot if I want. See just how fast we can go. <laughs> seven knots, maneuvering eye. Con dive at three zero zero feet. All right, depth under kills at least fifty feet, which is nice. It's not much, but and are there any aircraft? There are none reported. Good. Well, I mean, unless they start cavitating, we should know exactly. <laughs> I mean, we should be going faster than them. Closing the distance, uh, unless they decide to cavitate, in which case we should hear them anyway. So, let's run this for a little bit. Unless they're above the, no, it's impossible. It's like at 100 feet, 134. Well, they could be. Now there's no duct. How does it go from no duct to Con strong? Sonar lost contact. Interesting. Sierra one, last bearing zero three five. Contact faded. I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna try to go up by one knot at a time. Are we cavitating? One, eight knots, maneuvering eye. Faster we go, the better. I think we're also going into shallower water, which is not ideal. Maybe not. I mean, we have some. Okay, let's swing this way and slow back down. Have we gone very far? We have not gone that far. Just gonna advance time. And all right, let's do it. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Come left to one four one helm I. So I want to come left to even like come one left two, two five one, just to make two, sure that we six, really get the code grade. Okay, and we got to come up. Passing three hundred feet. Won't have toad ray <laughs> unless we slow down. I mean, unless we come up both. We need to slow down and we need to. Climb a little bit closer to the surface. Passing 200 feet. Just stop our. One, zero, zero feet, die by. So once we get the merchant back, which, which should happen very Con quickly here. Our new contact bearing. Ah, one, there she seven, is. Two, designated Sierra two. Close, maybe. Con sonar regained. Con helm steady course. Uh, 
it's so close. It, I think it. I think it could be this. I don't see this line, and this one looks a little bit off. I feel like this one's a little bit off. See that? It's to the right of the cursor on the top, but to the left of it on the bottom. It can't be that. There we go. It's a Romeo. Con sonar, Sierra 2 is classified <sighs> as submerged submarine. These guys are quiet. Well, where are you? Okay. So I think we launch a Moss. Um, once we know if we can be detected. Oh, we're in the office. Okay. So let's launch a Moss this way. Shoot to bait. Hi, sir. Reload a Moss there. Let's launch a torpedo in this direction as well. But first, give me a little bit more information. If we get a torpedo launch, then we're going to have a lot of information. <laughs> I guess that's one way of doing it. How much information do we have? Almost none. Do you want the torpedo to just dive at one, zero, zero, eight, follow nine, this nine. moss? Okay, well we gotta aim it at the Romeo first. Otherwise, shoot two one, I sir. We lose the wire, which we didn't. Okay, now go this way. And I'm gonna try to set my heading a little bit further left, further more eastward. Oh god, it says she's really far away. I might have gravely miscalculated the, what I'm doing with this torpedo. <laughs> and that would make sense. I mean, I think that they have to be somewhat close, otherwise, you know, this mission... Oh god, please... No, 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 no. Pause! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, it almost went active. So this is just her, I mean, we don't know her distance. If she's close, we need this. If she's further away, we need this. If you launch a torpedo just on the same bearing, um, along the same bearing, let it travel along the same bearing as the, as the target is from your submarine, you at least know the torpedo can't miss it. However, if you do this, then you really gotta know how, I mean, cause imagine it's really close. Well, we already went past it. If we just launched a normal torpedo, it would definitely catch it along the way. So it is pretty important to get this second bearing. Okay, let's start angling. I think it's a little bit closer than what it's the game's telling me right now. Let's go ahead and get another 45 Helm degree adjustment. Zero, four, one. Helm, I. You can always go active and look for the torpedo. Wow, we barely have her. She's going away, but I can't. So she is probably far. I think I will go active with this and ping, because I think I'm more or less out of the way. Let's try this angle as well. I think I'm more or less out of the way. She's gonna launch at the moss and I can ping and hopefully get a response. It's pretty quiet. We're in her baffles anyway, but she should come alive the moment she knows there's yeah, this going on. Actually, it keeps saying that she's further away. Uh, 20,000 we can handle. She's very, very slow, 13 knots, so once the torpedo has her, she's done. It's kind of nice to try to guide this in further and further, <laughs> from further and further uh, of a different angle us from the moss and the torpedo. These guys are telling one story and we are telling it a very much, I mean we're telling the true story and we're a much different one at this point point. and the longer this torpedo is allowed to go south, not the longer the dog leg essentially, the more convincing or the the less likely their attack is to hit us. So, so I think I'm gonna go active as soon as we close in a little bit more. I'm gonna start putting it on the Romeo, though. Solution's at 50%. The 
Let's leave it here and then we'll come back. I guess we can go, I don't, we can go all the way like this and that should still not block my toad. Before I do that, let's just start coming back. Yeah, okay, let's start coming back. And let's, I think let's start with the active so that we get a response from her and hopefully we can judge where the torpedo is exactly launched from. That'll give us information that we can use to guide the torpedo in the rest of the way. Because we we don't even have her except for the toad array. Gone. Fire control. Weapon acquired. Oh, well, turns out she was a lot closer Sierra than we expected. Is Cavitan sonar. Launch transient from Sierra 2. All right. Well, that worked out well. We're not going to have to worry about those torpedoes after all. Perfect. Both swimming the wrong way. But ours is not. Probably just rely on passive sensors now. She's capitating. Well, you know what? Just go ahead and use active just to piss her off. I'll guide her in myself now that we know what this Romeo's up to. She's doing little. She's like a really excited dog wagging her tail mark 48 right before she heads home con sonar lost contact sierra that two. is probably Last the worst place to take one, it eight, two. contact breaking up Woo! all right well there could be another one out there come right to one four one helm so I. what i want to do right is to one six nine helm i up down to 300 Pick again and kind of sprint in this direction. I think it's only one, but just in case. We could just go active as well. There is a moss out there, but yeah. Let's do it, let's do it differently. Ten. So we drop below 200, I'm going to say goes up to 15. Making turns for one, five. Not maneuvering eye. Those are now active, so we Con know exactly where they are. Making turns for one, five knots. Okay, I said three hundred, right? Yeah, three hundred feet. Okay, so let's go up to eighteen, which is apparently what we can do, at least. Make turns for one, eight knots. Maneuvering eye. Let's head towards this Con thing. Dive at three zero zero feet. Dive by. So they, are they going to acquire? I don't know. They detonated. The moss is not being targeted by anything either. So we're probably okay. There's 19. Can we do 19? Make turns. We're not capitating. One passing 300 feet. Make turns for two. Zero. We can do Nine. twenty. All right, slow back down. Quiet. Come right to two, six, three. Helm I. And make your depth. Don't crash us <laughs> into the One, side. Zero, zero, beat, die, bye. All right, I'm gonna go active as well, just because Non-sonar this is a game, and I have to sink zero. any. One. Submarine Zero, out here, otherwise Con, we lose the mission. All right, just give this a second. We can probably go active. Con sonar switching to active search. Nothing. Okay. Got him. Good. This was uh, the Chinese commandos were aboard. Great. Which is a great place to call, call this video to a close. So, the Pentagon today revealed that several Chinese submarines attempted an incursion near Taipei, Taiwan, and were either destroyed or driven off by the coordinated efforts of U.S. Surf surface sub vessels, submarines, and aircraft. Cooperation between U.S. forces and those of the valid nations was cited as pivotal to the successful outcome of this operation. I don't think any aircraft were getting that close. Probably not even surface vessels. That's pretty close to China. <laughs> Anti-surface missile. I mean, anti-ship missiles are real. So let's see what we have next. Um, sending submarines to reinforce the Chinese Intel Squadron Nuclear Attacks on Mosaki Victor and Akula class. Oh my God. We'll attempt to transit the Sea of Japan. Okay. Well, this is gonna be fun, and we have plenty of ordinance left to do it with, so we should be fine. Continue on course, I'll pause, call this video to a close, so catch you back for the next one. Until then, thanks for watching, and take care.